We're here at the stern of this 420 back in our shop here in Milwaukee to take a look at the gel coat patch that we did yesterday. This again is a repair that you may or may not want to undertake depending on the use of your boat. We put some gel coat on here and there's a couple of patches where we actually see that the gel coat has sagged a little bit overnight. Um, and so that's because we put this on pretty thick. If you want to prevent that sagging, do a couple of thinner passes. Uh, we went straight to final thickness here. And what we'll have to do next is take our sander and probably by hand, because this is such a tight area here, take this down to, to final thickness with a really fine grit sandpaper. And I've got a couple of different grits here. I'll start with 150, uh, just because doing it by hand to prevent fatigue, we're gonna take off a lot of this stuff with this rougher sandpaper first. And then we'll go down to this 220 for some final, final leveling of this, uh, of this gel coat back here. If this were in any bigger area in this tight area, I might use uh, a sanding block. And if I'm doing any straight lines back here, it also switched to a sanding block rather than doing it by hand. But we got the edge of the transom, the curve of the boat back here. So we got a lot of funky angles to deal with. So I'm gonna do it without a sanding block, take down some of the sag, these bigger drips with uh, coarser grit 150, and then switch to a finer grit for our final pass here. Got our same safety equipment, not using any power tools for this one but I will still be wearing earmuffs because it keeps the dust out of my ears. Gel coat is pretty dusty uh, and it makes it a little bit easier to clean if it's not all up in my ears afterwards. I'm gonna start with our 150 grit here to get some of the big chunks off before I move to the 220 grit afterwards. So some of the tips with this sandpaper, because gel coat is such a fine particulate, the sandpaper can tend to get gummed up as you're going along. And so switching often, like I was doing, doing it in a bunch of sanding in a bunch of different spots on the paper, keeps it clean. But you can also kind of rub the paper out, get those, get those fine particulates out of there so that your paper doesn't get too gummed up. Uh, and I'm also only using, when I'm sanding, as much as I can afford to take off of the boat. So I'm folding it so I can only sand on the tip of my finger here. So I'm really making sure I'm concentrated on where that sandpaper is actually hitting the boat. So I'm gonna switch now to 220. I've taken down most of these big chunks. We'll take it to our final level now. The other big thing is as we're doing this, especially with gel coat where you're not gonna apply another coat, uh, is that you're not sanding in one direction the whole time because this is even pretty fine sandpaper at 220. When you rub and buff a boat all the way down to a gloss, the 220, if you've rubbed in one direction with the sandpaper, those scratch marks still shine through because 1,000 grit, 2,000 grit, rubbing compound, uh, is very, very fine compared to this 220. And so instead of sanding in just one direction, little small circles here prevent those scratches from building up because you're going back and forth and back and forth in one spot. A little variation in how you're sanding prevents a lot of work on the back end when you're using that rubbing compound, getting the scratches from the 220 out of this gel coat.